HB 41 News starts now. You know, you'd think we'd get tired of saying Victory Monday, but nope. we really don't. The Chiefs beat the Chargers again last night, and we're hoping today Team USA keeps that winning momentum going as they make their 2022 World Cup debut this afternoon. We're breaking down where you can get in on that World Cup action today. Team USA takes on Wales today at 1 p.m. There's going to be several watch parties around Kansas City if you want to cheer on our national soccer team. Yep, one of those events happening at the KC Power and Light District, of course. Always a great place to watch a game. The festivities start at 11 o'clock this morning. That's free to go to, but it is first come first serve until the venue is full. So you know that's going to happen pretty quickly, even with the cold weather. No other pub will also be open for all World Cup matches if you're looking for fun places to watch. The Olathe Convention and Visitors Bureau also hosting a watch party today. How about that? That goes from 11 to 4 at the Garmin Olathe Soccer Complex. So there are also watch parties scheduled for other matches besides Team USA. That was reaction from Ecuador fans at Power and Light yesterday when team scored against Qatar. They eventually won 2-0 against the host country. That was the first of many matches to come in this World Cup. It is a huge event. The host country of Qatar is a small country on the Arabian Peninsula. Typically, the World Cup held in June or July, but the average temperature in Qatar during those months is over 100 degrees, just the average. So that's why they moved it to happen right now. The World Cup goes until December 18th. That's why we're getting all those Santa Claus commercials right now. Say, right, exactly. My season, what's going on? But all this World Cup excitement becoming directly to Kansas City come 2026. Of course, we are one of the 16 North American host cities for the next World Cup four years from now. Of course, we don't know which matches we played here just yet. Lots of time to figure that out. But local leaders actually set to go to Qatar next week as part of an official FIFA hosted observer tour for the yeah. future host cities just to see what it looks like. Organizers say they plan to use what they learn in that visit when they start the core planning process early next year, three years ahead of the actual. They are in the thick of it it's already. It's a massive, massive plan. Yes. Now, here's a map of the cities the United States hosting World Cup matches in 2026. There we All are. All of North America will be hosting, so Canada and Mexico have select cities chosen as well. How many months ago was it where these were announced? It was during oh the summer goodness. that these were announced, I think, that they had the big reveal party, that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's a lot of excitement headed to World Cup in 2026 for North America. Of course, in addition to celebrating that, we're also very happy. The Chiefs are now 8-2 and two after a Sunday night football with 37 seconds left in the game, which is an eternity. Patrick yep. Mahomes connected with Travis Kelsey to score a last-minute winning touchdown over the Chargers. That was a nerve-wracking finish for sure. us, even though we are well used to that yeah. with this team, with Mr. Mahomes. Mahomes says the team stayed confident. I just thought it was cool.